So aliens have taken over the Earth and the only way to survive is to... So that would be the premise for the first two sequels and including this new movie too. But this movie really wants you to suspend your disbelief because if you can't, this movie may not be for you. So please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'm Mike, the Movie Misfit. So let's talk about A Quiet Place, Day One. Day One is a prequel to the first two Quiet Place films. And this time around, we're taking it from the point of view of someone that's actually stuck in New York City. We follow Sam, played by actress Lupita Nyong'o. We follow her on her day trip into New York City, and she's actually not alone. She's accompanied by the best cat in the entire world. We get to see how the pandemonium all starts and all the chaos that it brings with it, and we get to see how people figure out how to survive. So I kind of have the same problem with this movie that I had with the last sequel is when I first saw the trailer to either film, I was kind of like, do we really need another one? I did like the character of Sam and I did like the only reason why she wanted to go into New York City was to get some pizza. There was a nice tender moment with Sam is talking to her chaperone and she's like, hey, I just want to go into the city to get some pizza. I was like, that's pretty sweet and simple and that's all she wants. Hopefully he responds like this. Pizza's okay. I really liked the first half of the movie the best because I felt like our main character had some mystery. Also, we had some likable side characters here too. When the aliens arrive and all the chaos begins, we really don't see anything and it kind of relies on sound, which I thought was a really good choice. All the loud thumping and crashing and things breaking and also not to mention all the debris that was in the air, it did a really good job as far as camouflaging and making the scenes more intense. Now this is where the film could either make or break for you. As that darn cat. I am so sick and tired of CGI cats or animals in general in movies because there is no way that they're believable. There's no way any cat looks like a cartoon. I'm really glad that Frodo the cat was actually a real cat in this entire movie, but you know what I find really hard to believe? That this cat was running around and actually hanging around and coming back. I find that aspect part of the movie just as believable as the cat from Argyle. Like, is Frodo like some sort of magical cat or what? <laughs> like, I was literally waiting for Frodo the cat to start leaving the mark of Puss in Boots wherever he went. I'm actually really glad that the director did not linger too long on the aliens because the design themselves is nothing special. It looks like a copied and pasted design from Stranger Things. Yeah, this alien design is really nothing special at all. Nothing to write home about. Nothing that makes it stick out or make it seem interesting. It kind of just seems like a hand-me-down design that all major studios are using. Like, hey, can I borrow that alien? Yeah, sure, why not? And for a movie with no real talking at all, the acting is actually pretty good. As far as the movie goes, you're really not getting anything new here, so if you're looking for something new, you're going to be really disappointed. Which goes back to my question, do we really need another movie? That being said, this movie was never boring to me at all, and thankfully too, the movie is also not very long. And if they do decide to make another film, I really hope they improve that alien design, and maybe we should take the point of view as people from the military. My rating for A Quiet Place Day 1, if you're a big fan of these movies, I would say go see it on the big screen matinee. I didn't love this movie, nor did I hate it. I thought it was acted well, it was just okay. The movie didn't enlighten my life, nor did it help me find my car keys. If anything, it had me wondering about the mystical world of cats. Alright, so hopefully my review wasn't too harsh, I was just being honest. Did you see the movie? Did you like it? Did you think it was the greatest thing ever made? Or did you think it was just okay? So please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'm Mike the Movie Misfit, and I'll see you at the movies. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Get more out of life. Go out to a movie.